Um, now, uh, th this, this is uh, what GNOME 3.0 looks like. Uh, we're, uh, c the GNOME community is working very hard at the moment to make GNOME 3.0 as successful as possible. Uh, the, at, at Guadic two weeks ago, the schedule slipped six months, so we're now planning to release GNOME 3.0 next March instead of this September. But uh, we think that with that additional six-month time, we'll be able to release a much more exciting product. Making GNOME 3 a success is the number one priority of the GNOME Foundation at the moment. And the things that the GNOME Foundation is doing to make that happen is we've been, as I said, organizing relevant events like Hackfests in order to... Uh, uh, we've, we had two marketing Hackfests in the past year. We had a usability Hackfest where we took a good hard look at the GNOME shell design and uh, a lot of the improvements that, are, uh, you're, that we're seeing in recent development in GNOME shell um, ha have come out of these Hackfests, so that's very exciting. We've been working with the advisory board, all of the companies that uh, uh, work with the GNOME product and uh, making sure that they're all on board with the GNOME 3 plan. And uh, one exciting thing about GNOME Shell is that since it's designed to work with OpenGL, which is what's used in uh, smartphones, uh, GNOME Shell really positions the GNOME desktop to be uh, a desktop that'll be effective not just on desktops, but also on notebooks and mobile devices. Um, and, and there's the one laptop per child computer, which uses GNOME technologies. And uh, on the bottom there is a GPS unit that uses GNOME technologies. Um, so in answer, in answer to your question, Fred, how does the GNOME Foundation make money? Through lots of sweat and tears, I, I assure you. Um, primarily how, how we get uh, our money is through advisory board fees. This past year we raised our advisory board fees from 10000 to 20000 um, So larger companies are paying uh, twice as much as they were before in order to be uh, uh, a part of the advisory board aspect of the GNOME community. And smaller organizations are, are, are paying smaller fees. We, we have a sliding scale for um, different types of organizations. Um, but the bulk of our money comes from advisory board fees. You saw the many logos we had um, on the slide before. and So the GNOME Foundation makes about $20,000 from each of those companies. Um, so that's a, probably just a rough number, probably a, about $200,000 I'd guess. Um, Se secondly, when we hold our events like Hackfest, many times different companies sponsor those events and provide us money in order to promote a specific aspect or technology of the desktop. Uh, for example, uh, we're going to have a Hackfest coming up in just a month or two uh, uh, about GTK. So uh, different companies that have an interest in promoting GTK development uh, would likely sponsor events like that. And we get money that way. Um, and uh, the Friends of GNOME program is, if you go to the website up there, gnome.org slash friends, uh, individuals like yourself can donate money to the GNOME Foundation to help us uh, do the things we do, like plan events like this. So if you're having a good time and uh, learning a lot of things and being productive and you want to give back to the community, that's a great way to do it. Um, and uh, I, I think uh, I, I'm really, I, I really didn't uh, brush up on my numbers, but I think last year we made about $20,000 for Friends of Gnome, and I, this year, uh, in the past year, we've made, I think, $50,000, which is slightly more than double, um, uh, mostly through uh, an effort of promoting uh, uh, the uh, Friends of Gnome program more diligently and by focusing the Friends of Gnome program towards uh, the system administration uh, we, we need someone to be a system administrator and we created a thermometer and encouraged people to donate enough money so that we could hire one and, and I suppose not surprisingly we discovered that with incentives like that we get a lot more money 
uh, looking forward, what's, what, what is the GNOME Foundation doing? Um, I, I explained before that we uh, ha have the Women's Outreach Program. There's a URL up there if you know any women with an interest in working on GNOME technologies. Um, uh, we're, we're, the GNOME Foundation is giving grant money to uh, um, encourage uh, projects and, and we're interested in getting proposals. We have an accessibility hack fest in October, a GTK hack fest. The Boston Summit's coming up in November in Boston. And uh, there's a developer documentation and tools hack fest in December, followed by a web kit, and then the desktop summit uh, next August. So you, you see we have a rather full plate of activities planned. Uh, the GNOME Foundation is primarily driven through volunteer effort. Um, and it's an exciting organization and, and with, with lots of learning and career and networking opportunities. Uh, it's a great way, for example, for students to uh, get involved with as volunteers and gain experience working on uh, applications that are used in production environments by world-class companies. Uh, if you do work on, on a project like GNOME, you can find your work uh, being shipped by companies like Red Hat and uh, canonical, uh, and uh, uh, it's a great way to build a resume and uh, real world experience. And a lot of people find that through um, working as volunteers with, with uh, the free software community that, that uh, job opportunities arise. So it, it can be very, a very exciting and rewarding way to, um, to be involved. And the GNOME Foundation is very excited to help all of you or any of you to uh, help uh, mentor mentor you. Uh, the, uh, the Bug Squad team and the accessibility teams are, are just two examples of uh, uh, sub-projects within the GNOME community where we need help. Um, specifically, uh, some of the things that the GNOME Foundation needs help with is with fundraising. Um, developing new sponsors, especially in local areas, and uh, helping to find new sources of revenue. So um, uh, we need help with uh, making our women's outreach program successful and developing marketing materials for the uh, upcoming GNOME 3.0 release. Uh, Paul Cutler, uh, a few months ago, took over the responsibility of being the well, more than a few months ago, maybe about a year ago, took over the responsibility of being the lead of the GNOME marketing team. And he's done an amazing job preparing us for the GNOME 3 release, but there's a lot of work left to be done. Um, community development. The GNOME community has a lot of uh, users groups around the world, and uh, we could really use more uh, community managers people who uh, have an interest in organizing people uh, to promote free software in GNOME. Uh, there, there's a strong need uh, for people to help with localization, translating GNOME applications to work in, di in different languages, uh, and, and with uh, plan helping to plan all of the, the events that you see that we have on our plate. Um, we, at Guadic, we were, the GNOME Foundation was selling this t-shirt. Um, it promotes the relationship between uh, the OLPC and the Sugar Lab communities. Uh, the OLPC project, uh, um, uh, Emily has, has the t-shirt there. Uh, the, o, the OLPC project provides uh, laptop computers to people in the developing world, um, uh, to children in the developing world. And, um, and it uses GNOME technology. So by participating as a volunteer in the GNOME community, you're uh, helping projects like the OLPC project, uh, which uh, uh, helps to educate uh, children who are disadvantaged. And uh, that's just an example. Oh, there's an OLPC laptop right back there. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and, 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 and uh, th through through projects like that, I I'm selling this T-shirt for um, fifteen euros. I'm not sure how much what that translates.
作为一种追溯。然后那个价钱的话，呃，算出来的话是十五欧元，然后呃，台币的话是六百七百币，然后美元的话是二十美元，人民币是一百三十美元。就是大家如果说就是那种啊，就是啊，想追溯或者要进行追溯的话，然后下次要再买，就都就有时间，因为我们从头就背过来。So, so uh, as I was saying, the GNOME Foundation is an exciting uh, community to work for. We work on projects that help people. Um, we um, are, are focused on uh, providing technologies that are free and uh, can, can be deployed throughout the world at very low cost, which is uh, uh, how, how projects like OLPC uh, are able to provide laptops to children um, in, in, in the developing world. Um, and uh, th through being involved with a project like GNOME, um, providing tools like uh, 